to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And together as a married couple, we are re-watching and reviewing all the DC movies in the DC Extended Universe. And the one we just watched was Shazam. Shazam! He says it better. <laughs> Our first category are the lead characters. Do we love them or do we want to, you know, we forget about them. What do you think? Our lead character category was a love it. Our two lead characters are Billy Batson and Freddie Freeman. And for me, more than anything, it was Freddie who uh -huh. I really enjoyed. Um, not knocking Billy, he's great, especially when he's in his whole Shazam and, and learning what that means. But for me, it was just Freddie was, was the anchor. He was my total window into the story and probably the character that I related to the most and empathize with the most. Uh, Don't worry, Billy, I'm gonna stick up for you, okay? Zachary Levy did a great job as uh, Shazam. Yep. I, I, you know, push portrayal's amazing, but I also liked uh, Billy as a, as a kid. I thought that he brought some good humor to it. He was a very believable character. I thought it was empathetic when he needed to be, and um, just it's just very likable and enjoyable. Um, so I want both him and Freddie in my group of friends if I was 14. <laughs> you know, I mean, they could be my group of friends now, I guess, as well. But, you know, I'm, we're in the same things, I'm sure, playing video games and superheroes and stuff, so. But Freddie is, uh, I just think that he was, in so many ways, the heart of the movie. So next up is the villain, and our villain in this one is Dr. Savannah. So, was it a love it or weave it? Um, for me, this one was a love it. It's, a, it's slightly leaned towards the love it. I loved how this story started with the origin of the villain. I thought that was very very smart and very well done and just uh, a nice little twist there you know he's jaded he's bitter his family is just terrible yeah. so you kind of you, you you feel a little bit sorry for him um you know I'd, for me it was a leave it but i love everything that you just said you, you feel a little bit sorry for him um you know I'd, i love yeah, that we know. started with the villain i love that origin story i love the surprise at at learning that We've been mm -hmm. following the villain for the first five, ten minutes of the story. Yeah. That being said, what bothered me about this villain and the reason that it is a leave it for me is because despite all of those gifts that were given to this villain, mm -hmm. I felt like he was played as a caricature. And that for me lost it because there was so much richness given in this script that we haven't seen in previous DCEU scripts that rounded out a fully fleshed villain. Once we got into the actual main storyline in Shazam, he just became one note. Side, side characters. characters! Now the side characters in this one were pretty much Billy's family, or you know, his both his mom and his now new family, his extended family. And for me, this was a love it. Uh, Darla stole the show, she oh, was great so comic cute. relief, she was so cute, she was so sweet. I think it was Darla and then the parents who I became most invested in. Mm -hmm. Then probably after that it was Mary. Yeah. So next up is the script. Uh, with the script you talk about, female empowerment, the love story, the dialogue, and basically whether or not this really engaged you. So for you, was it a love it or a leave it? For me, this was a love it. Uh, I thought the, the plot was really good. I thought it was deliciously unexpected. It had some moments in there. Like I said, the villain, starting with the villain, was a great little little twist there that I really enjoyed. And uh, the dialogue, it was funny. It was, it was sharp, it was clever, it was witty. And the banter between Freddy and Shazam when you know she's, he's an adult, and then also the banter at when they're when they're kids, I thought was very believable. And I think their friendship was very believable as well. Um, so I like that, that this movie was it was fun, it was lighthearted, and it was kind of it didn't take itself too seriously, but it was also not a complete joke. Like I mean, it was also rooted in something very real. If I had to pick a female superhero in this, my female superhero in this would be Rosa Vasquez. Yeah. For what she is doing with creating this home and creating this this place for these kids. And, and not just a place, but a true home. A place that they want to call home. And a family that is loving. Mm -hmm. um, and you see that. And you see how much she gets invested in the kids right away. She cares. She's there. She's going to run out and go looking for them. I mean, she's, she's present. And she's 100% invested. So in terms of a real life superhero, that's a real life superhero. So yeah. she would be my my female empowerment. This movie was a true family movie and it was about family. And I think yeah. the script did that very well. Friendship and family through and through. Moving on to our final category, which is film impact. This takes into effect humor, visual effects, action sequences, and the soundtrack, the tunes in this film. And heart. And heart, Don't yeah. Don't forget heart. So I, you can't forget heart as well, which this movie was a love it for me in this category because it did have heart. 
Uh, it had some cool tunes in it. I love that they had, they had Queen in there. Yeah. And then uh, the Eye of the Tiger, you know, Lightning with my hands. <laughs> Every time I hear that song now, that's kind of what I've been thinking exactly. of. Exactly. I was thinking of that the other day, too. Lightning with my hands. The action scenes were a little bit lacking uh, as far as there were only like three action scenes in this one. Um, but I didn't feel like it took away from the film that much, you know? This film um, reminds me of sort of a, a Disney film. It felt like it was made for kids, but it had enough in there for adults to be entertained too. Both mm -hmm. with the humor, uh, the whole fish out of water, and almost like a, a the recall to Big, yeah. Tom Hanks movie with the floor piano. Um, there was enough for us to be both entertained and moved. Because I think at the end of the day, this film had a lot of heart. It did. Let's move on to our final scores. Uh, for me, Shazam was a love it, and I gave it a final score of 78. I gave it a final score of 75. Our final score for Shazam combined was a 76.5. But that is definitely not definitive. 